Welcome to today's episode of the Boxhead Boys. Today it is me, Jaden Tiller, and Chris. Uh, we are hosting today's episode with Tennessee, Tennessee's very own Warren Burrell. Say what's up uh, to the pod, Warren. What's happening? What's going on, y'all? So um, we normally start every show with this segment uh, called Hot Take of the Day. And we forgot to do it in our last pod, actually, but we're going to do it again today. Um, basically, everyone goes around and says a hot take. It doesn't matter what category it's in or what the take's about. It could uh -huh. be food, movies, music, sports, anything, any topic in the world. Uh, so do you want to get started, Warren, or do you want us to give an example first? I got one. Oh, yeah, okay, Chris, yeah, Chris, go right ahead. I didn't even ask you to go, Chris, but go right ahead. Because it's <laughs> expansion thing expansion about Oklahoma and Texas move into the SEC I'm just going to go ahead and say this Texas is going to be easily the worst team in the SEC like they're just terrible like <laughs> they're just so bad like I understand how escaping the Big 12 with three losses is going to be any better in the SEC like it's all right though. we're gonna figure it out they better figure it out real fast so that's just my hot take any comment on that Warren man I don't know I mean honestly I can't say whether or not, you know, the team's going to be real good or not, like, you know, not good. Actually, you know, we still got some some work to do ourselves, you feel me? But I know being in the SEC is way different than, like, being in the Big 12. Because, like, the thing about, you know, Oklahoma and Texas, I mean, I feel like they only really have to prepare for one SEC game a year. You know what I'm saying? That's like in the playoffs. Like, you play a, the Big 12 season, then the playoffs come, and they play, like, Georgia, Bama, something like that, play a game or so, and then that's it. Then they go come to SEC, bro. They got to play Florida, then Georgia, then Bama, us, mm -hmm. South Carolina, Missouri. Like, they got to, you know what I'm saying? It's back to back to back to back. It's it's different, bro. It's a different, like, some, it's some a different. Some can't handle a grind of an SEC schedule. Yeah. Right yeah. yeah. It's every week, bro. It's every week. All right. So, Warren, what's your hot take? Oh, oh, it can be by so it can be by anything. Anything yeah. in the world. Okay. Oh, all right, all right. I was just in an argument about this. James Harden is a better offensive player than Kevin Durant. Yeah. 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 <sighs> I got the, that's the stats to back it up, bro. I just, bro, like, yeah. So tell me the stats that back it up, though. That's the bro, thing. bro. Okay, hold on. Y'all are really gonna make me look this up, bro. <laughs> well, you, you you said your take. You got to be prepared to back it up. Hey, bro, I'll be, bro, I'm ready. Bro, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, look, look, look. So, James Harden. James Harden. Averages 24.6 points a game, 7.9 rebounds. I'm rounding that up to eight. Okay, let's just say eight because I'm around up for KD. So, like, let's fair. say that's eight that's rebounds. 10.8 assists. We keep 10.8, we can say 11. Either one, it really don't matter, bro. Okay? Yeah. So, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant stats. You feel me? Kevin Durant, 26.9 points. So let's say 27 points per game, seven rebounds, and 5.6 assists per game. All right. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. So what I say for James Harden is 25, 25 points, what, 24.6 points per game? What I say? Roughly, yeah. Yeah. All I right. Look, four point six. Not a numbers guy. Versus KD's versus KD's twenty six point versus KD's twenty seven points. Okay, that's a three. That's like a three point difference, bro. That's a three made, bro. That's a yeah. that's a three point difference, right? Okay. But I said offensive player, bro. That includes assists. That includes like you feel me, offensive stats. So yeah. KD averages five point six assists. James Harden averages ten point eight. So that's the difference between. So let's say let's say we round up them both. So that's let's say that's five point six is six. Let's say that's six assists. Let's say six assists. Then James Harden is ten point eight. So let's say eleven. But that's that's five extra assists. So really, that's at least ten extra points that James Harden adds to offense versus KD. Versus KD has three more points per game, but extra three made. But James Harden, bro, that's ten extra points, bro. So in reality, bro, in reality. James Harden, like, accounts for way more points than KD does on offense. 
I see where you're coming from now. <laughs> Anybody I see, at first, I thought that was an outlandish take, but I'm starting to see where you're coming from. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, like, so, I mean, offensively, bro, offensively, bro, bro, James Harden's a better offensive player, bro. Okay. Um, man, what was my hot take? I had it. Um, this is an early one, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. I know he didn't drop last week like he was supposed to, but I think Kanye is about to drop a top three album all time. All time, Ooh. all time, all time. I thought you were about to say of the year. I was like, okay, I all can time. understand. Like, all time, all time, uh, bro. All That's time, true. all time. That's Actually, true. hold on, top five, not top three, top five. Yeah, I was like, yeah. top three. That's- that's more. That's more than a hot take, bro. That's like a burning tape right there. I don't even know. <laughs> you bro, you better hope Kanye lives up bro. to that. That's on I, you. I am hoping. Cause what you heard, what we heard in the um, whatever it was, the listening party, it wasn't all the way done. It wasn't all the way mixed. You know, you could tell there was still some unfinished work on it. And he's living in the bends right now, working on it. And he, if I had to guess, he's working twenty four seven on it. Did you go? No, I didn't go. I, I watched a friend's live stream. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I, I was going to go, but I'm kind of broke, so, I mean. Uh, yeah. I know he was trying to lie. I haven't uh, heard it at all. You haven't heard it at all? Nah. It's, what's it called? Don, Don, Donda. I think that was his mom's name. Yeah, Donda. Uh, that's just, I mean, bro, I hope you're right, but. Yeah. I, I hope you're Don. right, too, Jaden. I really hope I'm right, too, man. <laughs> if, if, I, if I wake up to Donda on my phone one morning, it better not suck. Telling yeah, you that right now. Like... Um, so we're going to go ahead and get into the interview part of this. Um, so uh, we're going to kind of open it up. So tell your tell your life story, how you got here, you, you know, where you are today and all that. All right. Bet. So uh, I mean, obviously, y'all know, but uh, from Swanee, Georgia, mm-hmm. uh, grew up really playing soccer. You feel me? That was like my first sport. That was like my first Chris. No, that was like my first love, really. You feel me? It was a, a group of us, me, him, Thomas. You know, it was a, it was a group of us. I really almost all of us played soccer. Like we was young growing up. You know, so that was like that was really my first love. And then I got older, and uh, you know, as you get older, thing about soccer is it gets a little more expensive. You know, what I'm saying as you as you like get older, go into academies and go and do all this other stuff. But my dad was just like. No child football, let's try this out. You know, he played football, so so you know, he had me go try it out. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I tried it and be honest with you, I didn't like it. Like football, bro, I didn't like it at all. You know what I'm saying? But uh I kept playing because, you know, I don't know, it just felt like something I kind of felt like I needed to do. I don't know, just cause, you know, my dad played it and I had like a football family, people who like to play football, but you know, I kept playing it. and then uh I don't know. Some have. I was really like a, like a, back of running back, blocking receiver type of type of deal. You know, so I had to go out do my little blocks, do what I do, and then that's it. But then, around eighth grade came around, and then uh, that's when uh, normally you in different groups, so like different teams, like uh, for North Gwinnett, You know, we went to it was like A, B, C. It's a bunch of different teams, but we kind of came together like around eighth grade year, and. Uh, we had a coach, so like our coach, uh, DJ Turner's dad, so Coach uh, Turner, you know what I'm saying? He uh, introduced me to play corner, you know what I mean? And so I decided, you know, to go ahead and switch my position and try to do that because he told me, what he said to me was like, you could be either a regular size receiver or you could be a tall corner, you know? So I, you know, I made that transition and uh, started to play corner. You know, it was a little shaky at first, you know, hard position to kind of learn, but you know, it kind of got better as I went on. Uh, ninth grade year came around, you know, it was pretty good. Uh, still kind of easing the position and doing stuff. Then 10th grade came around and uh, for some reason on the high school team, we didn't have anybody, like any other corners on the team. Like for some reason, I don't know what happened. Like my freshman year, we had nothing but seniors. So that next year they all left and uh, it was just me and uh, DJ, you know what I'm saying? It was just us two. Yeah. And then so we was kind of thrown into the fire a little like early, like our first game we was starting. So, you know, that, you know, it was kind of like a, a, a big shock. Yeah. Yeah. It was just, you know what I'm saying? It was a, it was a growing experience. You know what I'm saying? Like as that year went on, uh, that's when I got my first offer actually it was like sophomore year. Who was your first offer from? Uh, a Wake Forest. 
So, yeah, so, I mean, luckily, though, like, you know, I was blessed enough. We had uh, Coach Spire, you know, like, in the beginning, like, of the uh, 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 beginning of, like, my whole high school career, you know, he was kind of, like, a plug. He knew a bunch of colleges, you know, he had, like, a bunch of contacts, you know, he coached, like, all American games. So, yeah. you know, he was getting my name out kind of early. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I was lucky enough to, to, to be coached by him in the beginning. So, uh, you know, that year came around. We didn't really do as well during the season. But, you know, we got, I kind of got, you know, a lot of looks from a bunch of different colleges. Then junior year came around, you know, we got a whole new staff, new coach, uh, mm-hmm. some, some new players transferred in, you know, I mean, we had a whole new kind of look. And uh, that season came around and shoot, we lost the first game of the season, but didn't lose a game after that. I remember, I remember watching that first game. Uh, yeah. I can go. That was a, that was a heartbreaking one. Did y'all think, did y'all know y'all were going to end up winning state after that game or? Like, what, what was your outlook on the season after that game? It was weird, though, because, I mean, to be honest, like, we lost the game, but it didn't really feel like like it all hope was lost. It was kind of weird. Like, you know, yeah. it was it – was, because I don't know what it is about Walton, but Walton seems like the one team in, like, Georgia that can just consistently beat us. Like, I don't ever really remember. Would it be the senior or junior? Like, Walton, Did y'all ever beat Walton? No. Damn. No. Like, we beat every team except for Walton. But it's that like, was when uh, – Y'all were there when Don, or you were you were the same age as Don Blaylock, right? Yeah, yeah, we were in the same class. Yeah, so he did he go off on us every year, or was that just that one year? <laughs> that junior year, he didn't even play that game. He did Walton. That's what I'm saying. I don't even. It's not even like him. I think it's just like just playing with Walton. I don't know. But our mm-hmm. senior year, he played. He played. They put him in Wildcat quarterback, and he was just running all over us. I remember watching that. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, went on. Didn't lose a game though. After that. On a state championship, and that really like boosted a lot of us, you know, throughout that season. Like, a whole bunch of people on the team started to get looks, get offers, you know, including myself. You know, that was like that was really the year where it was like I kind of thought to myself, like, you know, I could really do this, like, as far as football. Yeah. You know, so like as a long term thing. Yeah, yeah. So that was kind of the moment I started to, you know, really focus on that. Gotcha. Nice. Yeah. Life story sounds pretty cool. Okay. Um. So, and the sports that you played growing up, who'd you model your game after? Oh, which sport? You talking about football? Or you talking and football, about- soccer. If there's any other sports that you happen to play, I mean. Uh, uh, soccer. Soccer. Mm, my favorite is probably, I like Neymar a lot. I like Neymar a lot, honestly. You know what he was like, I feel like Neymar was just like the Odell of soccer. Like, yeah. you know, he was like, the, yeah, he was just like the cool guy. So, I mean, I like Neymar a lot. You know, uh, uh, yeah, that's probably for soccer. But football, um, as a corner, I mean, growing up, like, especially now, I kind of, I watch Jalen Ramsey a lot throughout, you know, college and in the NFL now. Uh, Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. Uh, Badger, yeah. yeah, yeah, he he's a real one, bro. Him, uh, who else, bro? Uh, he's even like the one, like the new ones in the lead now, like Jair Alexander. I remember watching him when he was at Louisville. He was, he's cold. He was cold. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's really a lot of them that like just now coming into the lead now. I was watching like while they were in uh while they were in college, but yeah, it's it's a it's a large number of them. Yeah. So speaking of speaking of Jalen Ramsey, Ramsey, have you heard his uh, trash talking story from uh, high school and college? I think I heard in college, bro. He used to like DM players, girls, and stuff. Like, yeah, he did that in high school too. Oh, like, just, for real? Had, yeah. Do Do you have any like trash talking method like that? Like, obviously not like DMing other people's girlfriends. Because I, I personally, I don't want you. If you do do that, I don't want you revealing it on here. <laughs> is there yeah. anything, like? Is, is there a go-to line to, like when you're trash talking with someone? Nah, see, I, I I feel like it's a bunch of different like methods of trash talking. You know what I'm saying? Okay. There's, there's different versions of trash talk. There's the trash talkers like the angry ones. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna cuss at you. You got the mean face. They're gonna like call you this, that, and the other. There's mm-hmm. more of like a like the 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 happy one who like you know if you play football you'll come across that group that guy you know he's smiling all the time like he's in your face <laughs> like. Like almost mocking you, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like with a goofy. And it's normally an alignment too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like, there's like a the pest. That's why I kind of like to call myself like a more of a pest. Like, 
like I'm, I'm gonna be there. Like I'm a, like, you know, regardless of you, you're gonna hear my voice or you're gonna like, yeah. uh, you know, you're gonna know I'm there regardless. You know what I mean? It's like kind of just like a presence, like a mosquito, you fly, you swat at it, still there, you get at your face, you know, that kind of, that's kind of what I envisioned it as. So, so yeah. is there anything like you normally say that like will get like a player to turn their head when they're walking like back to the huddle? Like, I don't know, you say something there like, what the hell did he just say? Uh, uh, it kind of, I feel like a lot of it varies depending on like the situation and what happened. You know what I mean? If it's like, like if it's some sort of situation, like he he dropped the ball, you know what I'm saying? He dropped something he should have caught. Mm-hmm. Nah, you know, you, you know, you just say something simple as like, hey, bro, you almost had that one, bro. Like, <laughs> like you drop it, bro. Like, you, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it really, hit you in the hands and everything. Yeah, because it really don't take a whole lot because they're already beating themselves up. So, you know, all you got to do is find them. You know what I mean? It's just, <laughs> like, dang, bro, if you ain't suck, you know what I mean? You probably would have went for six right there. But, like, you know, stuff like that. But, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a couple of things I'll say. Um, you were talking about how you had, like, a whole bunch of offers, like, since you started as a sophomore. Um, since you were going through all these visits from sophomore year to senior year, what, like, made Tennessee that, like, one spot – that like made it a home for you other than like the other schools that were coming your way? Uh, probably, probably just, just the way they recruited me. It just felt like more of like, they, they really wanted me to be there. Like, I don't know. It was kind of like a feeling I got, you know, of course some schools recruiting you is they want you to be there. But the thing about schools is like, they got options. It's like, they have lists. You know, every school has like a list of guys they really want. And it seemed like you know, Tennessee and a couple other schools, it seemed like I was, I was number one on their list, so you know, obviously that that made them a priority for me. And, uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, the coaches, the coaching pedigree that who was already there, just seemed like the best choice for me. So, like, what was um? Were there any dark horses in your recruitment? You would say. Uh, honestly, not a lot of people know it, but I committed to Florida before. Uh, before I, yeah, before I what? <laughs> see, yeah, nobody really knows it. Was it a silent announce, commit? Yeah, yeah, because I, I didn't announce anything. Like, I was committed to Florida for a little bit and then uh, flipped it, came to Tennessee. So, I guess they're probably the dark horse. Yeah. Is there anything you can say about why you decommitted, or is that like something you still keep kind of low? Uh, it's kind of weird. It was like the moment when I committed, I thought, like, I would be happy, like, you know what I mean? Normally when you, like, you know, commit somewhere, it's like a weight off your shoulders. You don't got to worry about recruitment anymore. Like, it's just, like, a breath of fresh air. You know where you're going to go. You feel comfortable with it. And for some reason, like, when I committed to Florida, I didn't feel that. Like, I don't really know what it was, but I was just, like. Like something doesn't feel right? Yeah, it just didn't feel right, something like that, man. I don't know. And some my mom had told me something, like, kind of weird. Like, she told me, like, a night before some she had a dream of like of me playing like in orange and white or something like me playing with like Tennessee stuff on or something like she had a whole like vivid dream about it and I was just I don't know I, I don't know I, like it was weird like she told me that like after I was feeling the way I was feeling about it and I was like maybe it's not you know where I need to be I don't know like I, I can't really because I can I couldn't shake it so it was like you know, I might have to rethink this. So, yeah, that's kind of gotcha. Kinda, you know. So, other than Florida and Tennessee, was there, like, a certain visit that stood out to you? Mm, yeah, a couple of them. Florida, of course, did. Uh, uh, Ohio State, I remember that visit. That visit was fun. Ooh, uh, uh-uh. Nope. Hey, man. Nope. He's not an Ohio State guy. I think I think That's we all know this by now. You got. I thought you got to have a different team for each conference. I feel like you know you a Clemson fan, ain't you? That's that's ACC, bro. You got to have like a. You got to support one team from. Each I've conference. never heard someone say to have a different uh, team for every conference. That's that's new. Like, I mean, regular season wise, nobody really you know you don't cross conferences until it's uh, playoff time. Then you got to pick a side for real. But yeah. I feel like it's okay to have a favorite each conference type thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm I don't, I don't have a problem with it. That's just never gonna be me. Like, I'm like I'm a I'm a Georgia fan. I'm not gonna lie. So I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you you know you, yeah, but I feel like you neglecting like you know what I'm saying the other conferences. You just because I mean that makes you focus on just SEC. There's a bunch yeah. of this, man. 
Pac-12. Yeah, I, like I'll watch people who went in the north. Like we, like Tyler was on the pod a few weeks ago. I watch him whenever I see an Iowa game on TV. Or uh, who's that? Nebraska, Quentin, right? Yeah. Yeah, I watch Nebraska games and see if Quentin pops out, you know. And I'll watch anywhere. Like if there's someone I know on the team, I'm I'll tune in for a little bit, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like one of those things. I like your team though, bro. Was that? I'm not liking your favorite team though, bro. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna move past that. Yeah. Is that is that so? <laughs> is that so? We're gonna move past that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you weren't playing football right now, what sport? If you had to pick a sport, what sport could you see yourself playing? Can't be something you've played already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. can't be. Can't be. Got to expand the mind a little bit. Uh, yeah, probably baseball. I'll say baseball. Ooh, yeah. That's what the money baseball. is. That's what the money is. Yeah, yeah. I say baseball, bro. Baseball's hard, bro. Oh yeah, baseball's hard. I mean, you, watch, <laughs> you watch the MLB. You watch the MLB yeah. and see what some of the elite pitchers are doing. You you see like Shohei Otani going off this year, by the way. Yeah. Like the pitches yeah, he throws, you're like, how am I supposed to like see that? You know? Yeah, bro. Bro, that, I can't even. Yeah, I can't imagine, bro. I can't even imagine. Jeez. Um. So, you know, last year, you know, wasn't really what y'all wanted uh, season-wise, you know. But granted, you did have COVID last year. But what are y'all expecting this season? I know y'all have a new coach. Is there is it still the same expectation to, you know, win a lot of games? Or are y'all in the uh, mindset of, you know, like, we don't know what's going to happen? Oh, no, bro. I mean, the expectation is like, we step on the field. You know, we ain't, we ain't come for anything other than win. I mean, that's 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 the mindset you know, I feel like we've always had. But uh, I feel like with now, like the way things are kind of set up, like the plays that we have and like the the new, basically the new calls, the way things set up is more free. We're able to like move, we're able to like move around and play, you know, actually then making, you know, a bunch of different checks here and there and having to think more than actually plan. You know what I mean? So like the plays, like the play calls now, is, they way more simple. You know, it, it allows us to really kind of, be athletic rather than you know be machines and robots so yeah. i feel like uh i feel like you know it's gonna be a, a drastic difference though this year so i'm gonna have a follow-up question here uh is there any real difference that you noticed in the past few months between coach hypo and coach pruitt mm-hmm. i feel like i feel like with hype he's more of a around him he's more of a I feel like like a family centered like family oriented kind of like you know players first guy not that not that Pruitt wasn't a players first guy mm-hmm. but I feel like uh mm-hmm. like hype kind of like puts more effort into showing that you know what I mean like but uh, I feel like he 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 uh you know generally wants us to have fun playing football you know what I mean like like the way we like I think he understands that like to get your best effort out of players like you got to make them want to do something first. You know what I mean? You got to allow them to have fun and, you know, like, you know, bring back that feeling like when you was like a little kid playing, like you didn't play for money, you didn't play for recognition, you played because you wanted to play. So, I mean, I feel like Hype kind of understands that. With Pruitt, Pruitt was a good, he was a good coach too. But the thing I respected most with Pruitt was that like his knowledge of the game and he knew what it took to, to make it, you know, to be a pro. You know what I mean? He knows what that takes. So it's kind of a good, like, the thing we do now is kind of, since we've had both coaches, kind of do a good mix of both. You know what I mean? Take what, what Pruitt taught us, you know, carry it along with what, you know, Coach Hyde's doing. So, I mean, yeah. it's, it's pretty yeah. good. Um, with the Olympics and what we're doing right now, what event would you want to compete in? And it can't be something that you've done already. So soccer's out of the picture. And Track's out of the picture. What's that? Hey, track. He knows I'm gonna say track, but uh, hey, what's? I really feel like I could be five ping pong. I'm not gonna lie. Ping pong. Yeah, I really feel like I could kill that, bro. Hey, like, I, I feel. I watched man. a little bit of it. They don't play around, man. No, nah, not at all. It would be in that thing. I feel like I could train a little bit, get it right at ping pong, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's respectable. That's respectable. Um, so we're going to get into off the interview side. We're going to get more to the personal side.
but uh your top five favorite artists right now it can be any genre i mean i, I assume it'd be in rap but it might not be but top five never know he might he might be into classical music yeah. you know he might be into that mozart you know all that <laughs> bro uh, right you like the first time bro. i'll probably i'll probably say i know order though i can't really say it i kind of say order not really i'm gonna say look young boy okay young look okay easy Uzi. easy uh little baby easy uh this one's tough bro I'll probably give it a I'll give it a gunner. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give five a gunner, bro. I'll give five a gunner. Yeah. I like that right. that that'd roughly be my list, probably. I know you a you a Uzi fan, ain't you? Yeah. This is a, a gang. Oh, Uzi, a Uzi guy. Yeah. You said you said like Uzi. my my side of rap, gunna, Uzi, thug, like that's my side of rap most definitely. So yeah. I like ba- don't don't get me wrong. I like baby. I like NBA, but that's my other side of rap. I, I feel like my top five changes every day. Honestly, like if someone were to ask me every day, there'd be a little mix up every time, just because like what I listen to on, in the morning, you know, all that. Yeah, I'm with you. right now. Right now? Yeah, right now at this moment. This is in no order particularly. Uh, future. Well, I've been listening to a lot of future. Um, Uzi, Gunna, Baby, Lil Baby, not yeah. the Baby, but Lil Baby. Um, <laughs> so I mean, there's two now. You can't get, you can't get confused. Baby. <laughs> I was like, Lil Baby, not the Baby. Um, who's the fit? This is always like the toughest one for me. Um, did I say Young? Th- did I say Young Thug yet? No. All right, then Young Thug. Wait, so the future's at the top of that list. I don't. Well, you said no order, but you said future first. Still. Yeah, I said future first, but it's not. It's uh, no particular order. It's the first one that came to mind. It's why I listen to when I work out. So I mean, oh, okay. or, I it's why I listen to I most when I work out. So you need, you need to put on some money bag when you work out. You you'll be going. I put some money bag on it every every yeah, every now and then. Can't okay. talk today. Um, money bag's hard. I will. I'll give him that. He might he might sneak into the top five uh, one of these days, honestly. If he if he drops to the team, bro, we got everybody from Memphis over here, bro. That's just, you hear money bag all the time. All the time. Okay. Yeah, money bag. Okay. So th- so we have a scripted set of questions. This question's like off script. Like, what's uh, what's it? What's campus life like at Tennessee? Mm, I mean, COVID, COVID kind of you know made everything more like virtual now instead of like in-person classes but we're coming back everybody's coming back in the fall so it's going to be back to normal so you want to talk about like the COVID version or like the, the I mean you had version. a freshman year normal right yeah 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 freshman year pretty yeah yeah freshman year or at least half of it half of it was normal yeah so I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean it was it was cool it's like uh the typical Monday, Monday through Friday, I mean, Monday through Thursday, probably like your typical, like, just, you know, go to school, uh, you know, go to your classes, go home, do homework, you know, do whatever you got to do. You know, for us athletes, you know, after school, we go to practice, uh, work out meetings, all that stuff, go home. It's probably like your normal schedule. Then, you know, Friday hit. So, you know, for, uh, you want to talk about like for, for like us or like just in general? Whatever. You know, I mean, whatever, whatever really works. The mic's yours. Yeah, I mean, for the general population, like Friday hit, you know, it's it's Friday night. You know what I'm saying? It's it's college town, like not as well as a college town. So, you know, yeah. it's a bunch of, yeah, it's a bunch of like yeah. whatever you know, like whatever you can get into, you can get into over here. So it's like, you know, people pretty much wild out. You know, do what you want. But uh, for us, you know, Friday hit during the season, we off to the hotel. Because uh, we normally stay in like the hotel the night before the game, so so we can kind of be together as a team. So you know yeah. we're we're all you know doing that. We'll uh, go to the hotel, have meetings, you know, eat. Uh, our families can come up and see us for a little bit. So we're going to do that. Kinda, you know, just focus on the game we got the next day. Uh, you know, Saturday hit. You know, everybody else probably 
a little hungover from the night before. We, you know, come, come tailgate, you know, at the uh, tailgate Saturday morning. Uh, yeah. The tailgate is cool, though. I'm not going to lie. We got, like, a Vol Navy. Like, some people got boats and stuff. Like, because we got, awesome. we run this a river. Yeah, so, like, we run this a river. So, people be in, like, boats. and it's like, I need to make some friends on a yacht. I need to make yacht friends so I can go to that. Bro, who are you telling, bro? I need to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm asking, this is also off script, and I'm taking the mic from Chris a little bit, but what's, um like, what's the worst kickoff time possible? Is it noon? But yeah, no. Like what are what are noon kickoffs like as a player? Because I know as a fan, like even as a fan, it sucks having yeah. to get up early to go watch a game. But like I feel like it would suck even more as a player to get up even earlier to get ready for a game. Bro, noon means noon means wake up is at like seven thirty, eight. Like wake up, bro. You gotta wake up. You know, get dressed pregame. Uh. Pre-game meal, like uh, meetings, all this stuff. But the thing is, you're not fully awake yet. It's all like you just getting up. You know, you're trying to, you're trying to, you know, collect yourself. And we, I don't know if that's silly how we gonna do it this year, but last year and the year before, but we wake up with air horns. So like in the morning, first thing you hear is that mm, that loud air horn. They bust into your room, music playing. You still trying to collect yourself. But I mean, it's it's cool. You gotta get up. Get right, uh, you know. By the time you really come in, like you kind of lock in mentally, bros. When you on the bus on the way, so we'll be on the bus probably like it's a noon game. We'll probably be on the bus at like ten, like nine thirty, ten, something like that. Make our way to the stadium. Uh, you know, at that point, you really, you know, you gotta really lock in, wake up, throw some water on your face, smack yourself, do whatever you gotta do. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. So new games, bro. New games. Dude, I mean, so. Um, what was I going to say? So, like, I'm surprised they don't have you waking up, like, 6 o'clock to get ready. Like, is there ever any, has there ever been anyone that's, like, woken up late and missed the bus? Or is that one of those things they make sure it doesn't happen? Oh, bro, I mean, uh, I don't know for sure if we've had anybody miss the bus, but I wouldn't be surprised if we had, like, I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like somebody probably has. But they do a good job of, of making sure everybody's where they need to be. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about, like, like the coaches and like it's mostly our strength coaches that kind of handle that but you know they got their clipboard they got everybody checked off second strength coaches are crazy too crazy bro <laughs> crazy but they 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 kind of make sure we all like you know where we got to be they got everybody checked off so yeah yeah so for like a night game like what do y'all do all day because that like a seven o'clock kickoff you're just sitting on your ass all day right yeah bro basically but i mean you you really you just sit down. You try to, like, not walk as much as possible. Try to, you know, be on your butt, you know, pretty much as much as you can. Conserve your energy. Um, make sure you eat, drink a lot of water. You know, most of the time we're just, like, watching, like, the other games that are going on. You know what I mean? We're just watching, like, watching the football game. You know, get you a nap. Do what you got to do. And it's the, the thing. When it's later, the games, bro, the more meetings it is. So we'll probably have, like, two meetings, two, three meetings, something like that. Make sure everybody knows what they're supposed to do before we go out there. So, I mean, it's mostly, like, it's, it's a lot of waiting, bro. I mean, that's the hardest part is just, like, trying to stay focused throughout, all the, like, all the waiting. Yeah. You know, so. But, yeah. Perfect is, like, 3.30. That's the that's the, the sweet spot, bro. 3.30, yeah. just, like, the lighting on the – like, when I'm watching a game, the lighting on the stadium just gets different when it's at 3.30. Yeah. But at the bro, same time – that's, that's hopefully – that's the plan, bro. We do what we got to do this year. We know that – it, it sounds like 3.30? Yeah, I mean, shoot, we, it's, it really all depends on us. We know, you know, be completely honest, George is going to do what they got to do, you know, throughout yeah. the season. So, you know, we win the games we're supposed to win. Y'all got to – y'all coming here this year, so. Yeah, my friend – my friend's in ATO, and he's trying to invite me to the tailgate, and I might pull up with Georgia stuff. I don't know. I don't want to get – I don't want to get my ass kicked. That's the thing. Don't get, don't get mauled. I went to South Carolina with Clemson stuff. Worst decision of my life. Yeah. Bro, you asked for that. Was it Was it for the Clemson game? No. Just and that's why <laughs> they weren't even playing, bro. You just went with a Clemson, bro. You wilding, bro. <laughs> you asked, bro. You asked for that, bro. Like if they were playing Clemson, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. But who are they playing? Like no, an FCS team. Probably. If they're just playing an FCS team, that's just some petty shit. <laughs> it's not my problem. It's not my fault they can't beat them. 
how many uh <laughs> how many people yelled at you from the street it was more for like i'd walk past a bar and then oh but like you wouldn't have the people roll down their window the same, driving the same by, thing like, happened when south carolina beat georgia and i was wearing my clemson polo and then all of a sudden south carolina fans all over the place in athens it's all over the place so i was wearing my georgia stuff for that game because i was there too either way not. we lost so you caused me a problem that day i'll never forget that so. <laughs> just wear a, wear a neutral color wear like a white polo or something white team. shirt you gotta rep your team all right um what's the bro <laughs> All right, Chris, I believe you got a question next. Yeah. Um, favorite movie or favorite show that you're like watching right now or like or all time. It could be either. Uh bro, I'm an anime nerd. For oh, sure. Yeah. I like yeah, I love it. I don't relate to any of that. But what show what show are you on right now? Bro, uh right now I'm finishing Black Clover. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> that show's so hard. Yeah. <laughs> bro, it's Robin, oh. yeah. Yeah, I love bro. I love like so yeah. uh, that one. But, I mean, I pretty much watch a lot of them. I need to. I need to watch One Piece, bro. But this is so long. Like I'm, it's so. I'm just got like 300 episodes in. Like it's long, but like it's worth it. Like eventually, it, it gets it, it, worth it. I feel like it starts so slow. Like, cause I mean, I, bro, I watched like I've watched probably like 50 episodes, bro, mm-hmm. and it's like it really hasn't picked up. It's just bad. yeah. It takes a minute, but once it gets like it, it like hits a switch all of a sudden, it gets going real fast. So okay, so I'm not, okay. I, I, I got you, I, 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 you did. I was lacking on it. I kept like waiting on those early episodes. I was like, I don't know if I want this. And I watched one episode. I was like, all right, I got this. I'm gonna keep going. So, how did y'all yeah. get into anime? Like what what inspired you? Just watch Naruto and I promise you you'll never go back. Like <laughs> I literally, literally. Like, <laughs> right, just watch just give Naruto a chance. I've never seen it. Is it that good or it, it really is that good? Is it long? Yeah, but once you Naruto is one of those, you're gonna start watching it, you'll be like episode one one day, episode 30 the next. So you you can just start hitting it. Just that's a binge kind of show. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. That's up to you, yeah. bro. I'm just telling you, if you want to watch it, that's the one you should start with because then you're never gonna like you're gonna only gonna watch anime after that. Like I promise you. Yeah. It's, it's great, bro. Like it's it's honestly great. It is. What yeah. uh, what's the sh- what kind of movies like are you into? What's your favorite movie? Oh, I really ain't seen like any movies lately, but uh, I really haven't. What's that's a good question, bro? I'm not really sure, but I can't even tell you like the last time I've like watched a, like a movie because we used to we. Probably the last movie I watched was probably like Jim and I Man with Will Smith. I heard that was uh, bad. Uh, uh, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't yeah, great. It, it, it was, was good. I thought it was yeah, 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 yeah. That's probably the last movie I've seen, bro. But because we, we we watch movies when we got away games, we normally go to like a movie theater or something. So yeah, that's probably the last one. Nice. Um, what's this next question? Uh, what's the go-to food to eat when there's nothing at home? Uh, like restaurant-wise. Um, I mean, we got a Waffle House here, so I gotta say that's probably my favorite because you know, you know where we from, bro. That's the Waffle yeah. House is the spot. So. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, if we talking about like more of a Nashville type thing, like we got a place called Soccer Taco. It's like a Mexican place is good. It's a good over there. And then, um, uh, I think what we got that's like more native to Nashville, but I don't, I don't know. That's probably, that's probably really bro Waffle House, bro. If I had to pick any bro Waffle House, that's yeah. the spot. That's always a, that's always a safe, uh, safe bet because it doesn't matter what condition the actual Waffle House is in, the food's bro, always gonna be good. Like, especially honestly, if you're bro, smoking bro, outside. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. You're smoking outside while you're walking in. It's gonna be good food. You just know it. Your waiter doesn't have a cigarette in his mouth, bro, or like tattoos. Where like in weird places, bro. That's that's not where. It's not where you need the waffle house tattoo on his neck, like that one guy in the Swanee waffle house. Yeah, bro. It's like it's like on the back of his neck, ain't it? (laughs) Yeah, he has like a star around it too. (laughs) Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. 
Um, so who would you say that your life role model is? Life role model? Probably my dad. Mm-hmm. Probably my dad. Yeah. Is there anyone outside of your family that you consider a role model, like an athlete or actor, or singer, or like anything a, like that? Or um, dads or anything. Like, uh, you know, I, I uh, could be a coach. I probably, you know, I look at, I look at different people for different reasons. To be honest, it's like it's more of I kind of try to take things from different people. Like, I mean, of course, like somebody like LeBron James is somebody that obviously is just like a great more model somebody to look up to but uh with him you know more for me it's like what he does outside of basketball like how he's able to to make so much money like if he bro if he like stopped playing basketball after like his like after his rookie like contract thing was up bro he still would be like a multi-millionaire like for like the things that he does like outside of the court like all like like you know his business deals and like movies whatever it is that he's doing bro it's just like he's not just a basketball player you know what I mean it's like it's you know I mean it's it's more of like who he is rather than what he does. So okay. it's like I kind of look at him like for that, you know. Yeah. But I say my dad though, because like you know he's a he's a real hard worker. So I mean yeah. I kind of that's kind of like you know the thing I admire the most is like you know somebody that works hard, you know. Yeah. So that's 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 who my dad is. That's why I, you know I look at him like that. LeBron's been a popular answer on this podcast recently. For the role model yeah. question, so you're just going goat, along with bro. the wave. That's the goat, bro. What did you think of uh, the new Space Jam with a minute? Bro, I didn't even see it. We're supposed to go see it. I think probably like as a team, like with football. That's why I've been waiting. Yeah. Yeah, like we were supposed to go see it at some point. So that's the only reason I've been waiting. Because we need to. I need to go see it. People have been hating though. I don't like that. I s- I saw it and I, I didn't think it was great, but at the same time, I got to keep in mind I'm t- I'm almost 20 years old. Yeah. The movie was made for like people like ten years younger than me. So like if I was like yeah. ten right now, I probably would have loved the movie. But like looking at it as like an adult, you're just like you know like yeah. it's not what it's like. We're not the target audience, you know. Yeah, you're a, you a Jordan guy or a LeBron guy? Uh, more of a Kobe yeah. guy, but I'm a Kobe and Jordan kind of guy. They they have the play, they have the same kind of play style, you know, like win at all costs, absolute score, you know. You don't think LeBron will get all costs? Thank you, Chris. Thank you. That, see, that, I think you LeBron's a win at all costs guy. Came back from three, three down three one. Three to one, bro. Best team Thank ever you, against yeah. the best team ever statistically. Yeah, Literally. I know. I know. Yeah. I'm not saying. I'm not saying he's not that win at all costs player. I, I'm just saying you just said he didn't have a but, winning <laughs> mentality. I, didn't, I never said he didn't he have it. I just said that. Jordan and Kobe always had it, and they listen. Look. I, the LeBron <laughs> Jordan co- or the LeBron and Jordan comparison, to me, it comes down to what I they think, can I don't do think can with their them. teammates. If you put them in the draft class at the same time right now, Chris, I guarantee pause, you every pause, GM pause, is picking pause, LeBron pause, James. Pause, 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 pause. I'm telling you. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna go from a non basketball pr- basketball approach to explain this. Okay. If you say you're talking to a girl, you go over okay. to her house, like what? nine times you know you do a little something like three four times yeah you had a good ratio right not this, not but this. It, if you go but say this other dude that you right, see on the before side you say goes that, six before times you say that. No, and Paul, sees and does that. stuff six times yeah before you say that before you say that let's also keep in mind in those first four years he also lost almost every time in the eastern conference uh first round which lebron's only done one time everyone forgets to mention that second Man had to get Dennis Rodman to save him from the Pistons just obliterating him, and then all of a sudden LeBron is the uh the uh uh what's it called Le, Le GM Le GM it's Le GM all of a sudden. I'm, don't get me wrong, Jordan is a goat. I'm just saying like everyone knocked LeBron for these crazy reasons that Jordan did the exact same thing. Kobe is the one who literally got cheated though, because man Kobe actually supposed cheated. to get Chris Paul, and they actually said no. They actually Kobe said did no get cheated. Kobe, Kobe did get Paul. cheated. So that's just my bro, thing. If you could go back in time, bro, if you could, like, bro, if, if God, like, just rearrange the order things, bro, and you put my, uh, if you put LeBron and Michael Jordan's place with the Bulls and you put Jordan in LeBron's place with the all the teams that he's been on, bro, the Bulls will have the same results, bro. But the teams that LeBron yeah. was on, bro, would have been worse. 
Right, my, Michael Bulls, Jordan is not taking Le- Elias Gauskis to the Eastern Conference Finals. I'm sorry. He's Listen, not, did you watch? Did any of y'all watch a second of the last? Did you dance? watch Michael Jordan before he played with Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman when he lost every single time in the first round? Yeah, yeah but he carried them to the first round at least. It's LeBron better than missing the playoffs. Carried LeBron carried them to the Conference Finals, finals. in his LeBron second season. Yeah, like yeah. there's no comparison. LeBron was 21 years old in the finals. Michael Jordan got to the finals when he was 26, 27 for the first time. Come on, guys. LeBron James, went, I mean, I get it. LeBron James went there and he's lost multiple times. But you also got to keep in mind, he lost to Tim Duncan twice with Kawhi Leonard on that team, Tony Parker, Ginobili. The one I don't get, Dallas. He lost to Dallas. That one is unbelievable. Dallas was, bro, Dallas was a solid team. Like, they, they were solid, but... That's the one I'm it like. Was one those, was it was one of those. It's like he should have won. Yeah, he, he. That's one year like nobody thought Dallas. Like Dallas was there. They just thought they're gonna get steamrolled, but they came in there. And then like you can't say anything about the Warriors. One of those he literally like he was playing with Matthew Dellavedova as like his second option. Hey, his don't be hating there. on Delhi, man. Don't be hating <laughs> on Delhi. I'm not hating. I'm just saying that's not the guy you want to be like your number two in the fourth quarter. Got to give him the last shot. You know, that's just my thing. But. I will say J.R. Smith was a little bit of a liability. So, I mean, I'll give him that. Yeah, dude. LeBron had 58 points. And then the reason (laughs) they lost that game is because the person who shoots threes doesn't want to shoot threes. Like, that's that's what I'm saying. Like Like a Ben Simmons. It's like Ben Simmons, but high. Yeah. (laughs) Um, But, like, my my go-to is, like, for the GOAT debate is Jordan. But at the same time, I'm starting to, like, reel back a little bit and see like you can't really compare it's or it's hard to compare when it's two different eras of basketball you know like back in Jordan's day it was like all defense 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 like you weren't getting a foul as easy as you were in today's NBA you know but today's uh today's game is more offense oriented you got more high scores like LeBron or Curry or Kevin Durant you know those kind of players so I, I feel like it's one of those situations where it's like in this era he's great but in that area this one's also really great I feel you I just in my opinion bro LeBron 6'8 250 bro like, like that's my thing like like bro he's he dominated wherever like y- y'all everyone says LeBron wouldn't dominate put that 6'8 whatever he is just drop him in never said he wouldn't dominate no, I no, never no, said he wasn't dominant. Accused. I'm just saying, like other people, other people say that. A whole okay, okay, okay. Like, I thought you were trying to crazy. accuse me of something there. I was like, oh, no, Whoa not you, there, Chris. I'm, I'm just saying. And they say the same thing about I'm how Jordan kidding. wouldn't do anything in this era. I'm like, dude, Jordan might have 60 points a game sometimes. Like, come on. Like, I, I don't get it. They, they like to the slander both of them for no reason. Yeah, you got to keep in mind, like both have had their fair share of facing tough opponents. You know, like for Jordan, it was the Pistons who would try to tackle him out of air. To keep yeah, but like my thing, my thing is this LeBron though. LeBron James, him. they actually are making super teams to have to stop the dude. Yeah. They had to put KD, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving, and they still didn't win. That's embarrassing. Yeah. That, that's just my thing. <laughs> like I've never seen people be so yeah, scared. They only lost if was hurt, bro. I just want to say that. Oh yeah, I just want to say that. If Harden, if it was a healthy Harden, bro. That's oh, true. even even if Kyrie was just on the floor for five minutes, it would have been game over. <laughs> That's the Bucks, the Bucks got they beat the Nets, but they got a little help because they were not healthy. So, yeah, but, yeah. they should ours. That's it, ours. Yeah. Um. That's all right, we got very off track on the interview. Hey, we got we got to talk about it. Talk <laughs> hey, about it was a good talking point. I'll give I'll give you all that. It was a good talking point. Um. I was. Oh, I got one that's not on script. What's the craziest place you played? Craziest, uh, yeah. Bama. Bro, Bama, because my freshman year, from my freshman year, that was our game was the first game that they got those red lights that they have now. Like now they have, you know, what I'm talking about like they got yeah, yeah. red lights. Every time they score, make a play, and it's like our like we played them. That was the first game they used them, bro. And like none of us knew, so like we out here playing, doing all this and that, bro. They score for the first time, bro, and it's just like. You see the lights go out? Definitely, bro. Lights go out, turn red. Everything's like definite, bro. You look around like, bro, like, 
Like, what just happened? Like, right, it's honestly broke down, probably, probably them, just because of that moment. Like, yeah, I mean, I went to the Georgia game where they had their lights, and no one was expecting some of the things that they did, and everyone just, like, looked around, like, the power went out for a second, like, what the fuck just happened, you know, like, yeah. and then you just I see, like, the lights. What's that? I like what y'all do with the flashlights. Y'all, like, Oh yeah, yeah. that's like that's that. always a cool tradition. I like how they kind of because they always had a tradition of putting fours up in the fourth, and now it's just yeah. you put a put a flashlight up in a four and then yeah. you do your damn thing, you know. So I mean, I, I like how it's adapted with the times, you know. Yeah, yeah. So that's gonna suck though. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'll let the game do the talk. We'll let the game do the talk. Hey man, I don't care. All I know is this. If what they said about Bama moving over sides, that might be the worst thing I've ever heard in the SEC. That that's just the worst thing. If Bama moves sides, oh, move to, uh, that's just the worst. Thing. I would like, hate that too. I would hate. I don't that. even like. I don't get. I don't get why they would. My thing is just like if I were in the SEC and I'm Georgia and I'm Tennessee, I'm fighting for my life to make sure that does not happen. Just screw them. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, Tennessee has to play them every year, anyways. We don't. Yeah, we yeah. The rest it don't matter, bro. Yeah, <laughs> for, uh, for us, we'd, I'd rather not. I mean, I mean, at the same time, it's a it's a good game to play. I mean, both teams, yeah, you especially when every time. God dang, like Georgia just needs to beat Bama one time, just once, and then Bama will be I scared. Can, just listen, once. Gotta, if Georgia, if Georgia beats Bama once and wins a national championship once, I can. No, that's how. No, the year Georgia time. wins is probably going to be the year they beat Alabama. There's going to be the year they win. Like finally, like that's going to be the curse. I swear that's y'all's curse. Yeah, sadly it is. I've like I'm not gonna cap, bro. It is, bro. It's like y'all in Notre Dame, bro. Like y'all are like the teams that like almost get there. Y'all are like, yeah, Notre are, Dame. Like, right like Notre Dame beat Notre Dame, Dame bro. Y'all, bro. Like, y'all, bro. Y'all right there, bro. I know. Yeah, I still like. I remember the year after second twenty six, we got up on Bama in the SEC championship like thirty or twenty eight or thirty five to seven or four. I don't know the exact halftime score. And like all the people I'm with watching are like, let's go, we're gonna win. I'm like looking around, like, did y'all not watch the game last year? Like, did y'all not see that? Was I the only one that watched that? Like, I knew we were gonna blow it. I kn- like they came out of the tunnel at half and I'm like, we're too cocky right now. We're gonna lose. And then we we just fall apart. And I, I'm just so used to it. I'm a Falcons fan, I'm a Braves fan. Hawks fan, been through so many heartbreaks. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm starting to think I'm the problem. Yeah, you, you know? you've gotten used to that yearly heartbreak, haven't you? Yeah, like when <laughs> the Braves, when the Braves went up on the Dodgers in the what was it NLC, NLCS last year, they went up three one. I was like, we're not winning this shit. Like I mean, this has happened so many times. It's Atlanta. And I was waiting on the Hawks to like when the Hawks won the first game against the Bucks. I'm like, let me guess, we're gonna go up three zero and blow it. We didn't go up three zero, but we still kind of shit the bed a little bit yeah but also Trey Young just tripped on the ref that's just the most unreal thing I've ever seen in my life god we would have at least like y'all be losing to the teams that win though like you yeah know what I'm saying at the very at least like the teams that beat y'all is the ones that like win it all really because they're, yeah, the, I mean, they're the ones who Dodgers won it last year yeah yeah Braves would have won it if they went I'm because the Braves came in came into the playoffs really hot just like their, their bats were on fire. Their pitching was on fire. It was like the right time. You're like, man, maybe maybe it's finally time for them to win one. And they get – they were one win away. Just needed one win. Bro. Couldn't snuff out a win. Yeah, bro. I'm yeah. praying for Georgia. That's like, I want them to win. Like, Oh, I do too. I've been wanting them to win for 20 years of my life. So, I mean. That, that, I just, that just helps Clemson. <laughs> Little Alabama, like, you don't want that. What's the game – Warren, is there a game you have circled on your calendar this year? Like that's gonna be that's gonna mean a little bit more to you. I mean, bro, in the SEC, where it's like every game is like one of those games. But you know, a little personally, you know, I want to be Florida. Like I want to be Florida bad. But uh, yeah, is it is it in the swamp or is it uh, in Knoxville? It's in the swamp this year. We played them. Yeah, last we played them at home last year. Yeah, yeah, but they're a whole. They got a whole new like. A whole new look now. Oh, yeah. have, They're not going to be the way they were last year. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. Emory, how really well, I, well, Emory I, Jones is a good quarterback, but at the same time, they, they in the past three years, they used him as a running back, like Wildcat style, and they never let him air it out. 
which is kind of insane because I saw I've seen him in his like the elite 11 uh camps and he has a good arm you know yeah that's what I've heard he can really throw it but we just hasn't gotten out yeah, we've been doing scouting reports, but it's like, you know, different, like, things for different quarterbacks. But, you know, I don't really feel – I feel like a lot of places didn't really respect his arm as much. And like, but they really get a show like that. But, honestly, bro, Florida, bro, damn only still damn only. So, it's like yeah. – He's going to he get a good quarterback out of him, no matter who it is. Yeah, Kyle Trask didn't play – I don't think he started in high school. He still ended up in Florida, and Dan Mullen turned him into a Heisman contender. You know, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. as much as I hate, as much as I hate Dan Mullen, I will give him credit for that. He can make quarterbacks really good. Yeah. So you never know what you're going to get. A tight end. Like he had a God tight end. Like I've never seen a tight end. Like oh, that. Kyle Pitts. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Did you, did you have no, to did guard you have him? To play against him? Yes. Yes. <laughs> did you have to, yes. did you have to oh, go one-on-one on one with ESPN, him? bro. I was on the, bro, you put me on ESPN, bro. Wait, wait, did you get Moss? Bro, it wasn't even Moss. It was a, it was a fade route, bro. And I was in, I was over top of, I was in good position. Like at the end of the play, but my coach didn't even have nothing to say to me. Like, bro, it was a good play. I was over top of him the whole route, bro. And trash threw it. But the thing is, like, the way he catches the ball is like, bro, he's so lanky. Like his arms are like the size of my body. His arm, literally, if you took my arm and you put another arm, it's like almost like dude's broken. Like dude's it's scary. So he caught it, he caught it like that, like fully extended, right? And I was behind, like I was over top. So we were both turned around. So I'm behind him at this point. I'm trying to reach, but I can't even reach it. Like, like the furthest my arm goes is like his elbow, maybe. I'm like, so bro, you, like, did you have a perfectly covered and he just made a play? Yeah. Yeah, bro, it's on, bro. They put me on ESPN for it, bro. Did they for mention your name? Little, like draft thing for his little draft thing, bro. Yeah, I, I, I was. Oh, we're gonna so we're gonna have to go look at that. We're gonna have to go. Oh, look I'm, at oh, that. I'm playing up YouTube right now. Yeah, I'm playing up YouTube. Like I'm one of the little. It's fast, bro. It goes quick. But I'm one of them little clips, bro. Kyle Pitts versus Tennessee. So like, when you got back to the sideline, your coaches weren't like, ah, oh, like damn it, Warren. They were just like, what are you gonna do? That's bro, the they didn't even talk about it. They didn't even talk about it. The only time we talked about it was in the film, like, and it was just like, hey, like, <laughs> like hey, he's got, hey, good play, good throw, good catch. He's got to try to get that out. Like, yeah. I found it, yeah. <laughs> but he, bro, but he, but he legit, he legit got me on the slant though. Like, he got me on the slant route good. That was a, he yeah, caught right two there. balls. That was, good. that was one of them. He just be so, moving. He should not be moving that fast for that size. Like receiver, bro. It doesn't well, make like sense at all, bro. Like at all. I don't even. I don't so even what know. What was the game plan going into that? Uh, into that game because you knew Kyle Pitts was gonna be good. Like, like what y'all? Because for some reason, in both of those plays, bro, I, I mean, like, I have full. I have full confidence. You know, what I'm saying in my coverage ability. You know, what I'm saying but I was in straight man both plays. Like, no help whatsoever so it was like like and he was isolated at the edge so I kind of feel like we should have known that's where the ball was going but I, I don't I don't know bro it was just it all happened so fast you didn't have a safety over the top of you or anything I had a post safety but it was a slant and a fade bro the safety not gonna get there like post safety literally just plays like post and other things like wait I think I might have found it oh I think I found the slant Ah, he found a slant. <laughs> bro, <yeah. laughs> ah, he found the, the worst one. I can't see. Oh, yo. Oh, yep. 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 Mm. Yeah, bro. Yeah. He got you pretty good. Here, I'm going to try to find that one that you're talking about. Yeah, bro. I just couldn't do anything. Quick. There you go. It was so quick, bro. Mm. He's a, how, like, he's big on TV. How big is he in person? Like how like bigger. are you like looking up to him like that or yeah like bigger like I promise you bro like like he like my head the top of my head is probably like at his shoulders maybe like at his shoulders bro and then like bro and then like he looks the thing about him he looks skinny right he's really not like he looks skinny bro but he's really solid like he's at the same time bro he's like two forty like two thirty five like two forty yeah. bro that's heavy bro like. Gronk is like 260, 265. 
Like, you feel me? And it's like, uh, bro, like, yeah. You big guy, bro. I think I found the play. Maybe. Oh, Lord. Was the play of the game? Couldn't have been, bro. Couldn't have been, game. bro. Couldn't have been, bro. Couldn't have been, bro. This is a play of the game, bro. I'm going to cry. <laughs> it was the play of the game. I'm going to cry on your podcast, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, is this a play? That's a play, bro. That's it. That's it. Bro, like, I'm in the position the whole time. Bro, look. I'm going to top the whole route, bro. I didn't even, bro. Look. You did everything right there, too. That's the thing. You yeah. There's a back shoulder, bro. He just – I couldn't even, bro. That guy's a freak. back shoulder was at the sideline, and he still ended up getting it. But you see, like, his extension. Like, bro, how do you even, like, get to that? Man, that's just – that's how just you, Like, how do you even get to that, bro? Like – but yeah, man, yeah, man. I mean, shoot, it's whatever, bro. Cause I mean, I plan on seeing him again later. So I, I do. I cross that bridge when it comes when it comes around. Oh, again. okay. Yeah, for sure. I need, um, I need, I need, I need a rematch on that, bro. <laughs> What's your pregame ritual? Like, is there a song that you listen to? Is there anything you have to do? Like, are you superstitious at all? Bro, I purposely try not to do the same things, bro. I don't want to like. I don't like that idea of like I don't knock anybody that got pregame rituals. You know what I'm saying? Like I get it. Whatever makes you like feel some type of way to ball, like, you know what I'm saying? By all means, do what you gotta do. But like I don't feel like I feel like it's like giving power to something else. Like, like I feel like you you play the way you play because of you. It's not necessarily what you wear, what you did, like, bro. Like it's you. You know what I'm saying? So like I don't know. Like I remember high school, but if I had a good game, bro, I'd purposely wear like a different pair of gloves or something else the next game. Like Cause I'm like, bro, like, that it wasn't that. But yeah, I'm not really that superstitious to be honest. Yeah. Um, Xbox or PS4? PS4, bro. PlayStation. PlayStation. All the way. Move. PlayStation, bro. You got the PS5 yet, or is it still on PS4? I got the five. Ooh. Okay. I got the five yeah. a little while ago. That's five. I'm, I'm gonna get on Warzone right after this, bro. <laughs> on that. On that. Are you are you good or are you kind of trash? Cause I'm kind of trash. Ah, uh, I'm not trash, bro. I'm not trash. I'm not trash, but I'm not. I'm not fly. Like I can't. I couldn't be no streamer, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. But yeah. I, I hold my own. Like I yeah. can't be no streamer, but I could be in a streamer's game and like be one of the supporting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Supporting I mean, cast type thing. You know what I'm saying? I've been playing a lot of MLB the Show, and I play. I'm an Xbox guy, so I've never. Uh, I've never uh, gotten to play the show until this year because they finally put it on Xbox. So I play on Rookie for Roads of the Show because I've never done this before. I'm still new at it. And then I'll go play online against a PlayStation user. And I'll, I'll be swinging at pitches in the dirt. I'll be swinging at pitches up here. I, I'll just, like, get my self-confidence so low because yeah, I'm, I'm so I bad. I heard that game is fun. Like, oh, I've it's so cool. Movies. I love I love the show. I just it's probably real nice on PS4 5 too and like all the new yeah. gen probably way better. Yeah. Bro, That's what since I, I got college, I'm starting to become like a baseball guy. Like our baseball team was real good this year. Like I'm just starting to pay attention to the baseball more, bro. Like I like it. Yeah. Like, I'm, I would be kind of mad I never played it. Like yeah. yeah. Baseball, yeah. Like, I it's hate smooth, bro. Uniforms, like it's smooth. Yeah. Like it's I will smooth say sport. though. I see why people will say it's boring because when I watch like teams that aren't mine, I'm like, okay, I could see why. But like being at a game is such like a cool atmosphere, you know? So. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it goes much faster when you're there. Like I went to a couple games. Like when you're at a game, it feels like it's a bunch of hits. Like, mm-hmm. like I don't know. You'll be talking. Like going on the entire time. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah. Like even, yeah. If, even if the team's getting blown out. Like, there's always people watching to do. You always see some drunk idiot doing something. Yeah, yeah. thanks. 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 Yeah. Um, so, what was – what's your favorite memory playing football, like, ever? Mm. I have a very good guess on what it is. I don't know. That seems like a question I should know, but, like – I don't know. I mean, probably, honestly, truly, probably like my first, my first ever game because that was my first start. Like, so I started in my first game, and it was like probably like that moment of just like being out there, like, like the second, like the first defensive play, like you're out there. You know what I'm saying? Probably like it didn't necessarily be like a play, but just like that moment. You know what I'm saying? Like taking it all in, bro. And it was like sold out game, like a hundred some thousand people in the stands, like. 
know what I'm saying? You're a little nervous, but it's like, dog, like, it's what real. Was your, what was going through your head when you, um, like, when you uh, went out there for the first time, like, first snap and everything? Bro, don't mess up. Like, bro, literally, bro. <laughs> don't, bro like, don't get bombed on, bro. Like, it's 100, 2,000 people, bro, like, watching you, bro, like. Like, don't get bombed on. But, I mean, as you go on, though, like, as the years go on, bro, you start to, like, it's just like high school. You start to pay less attention to the crowd. But, like, freshman year, bro, when you're, like, your first snap, like, when you first out there, bro, it's hard. It's hard to ignore it, bro. It's just, it's so loud. There's so many people, bro. Like, we got, like, the fourth, fifth biggest stadium in the country. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. bro, it's so loud. Like, we right across from each other. Just, bro, you can't hear nothing, like, at all. Like, it's, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, so this is a question that we've kind of recently brought into the pod. And I'm going to go ahead and let you know right now, this is not, you're not going to have the weirdest answer we've ever heard. Because um, our guy, do you know Liam Butts? I think so. He plays soccer at Penn State. I think he's Butts. Oh, he's Liam. that's his last name, Butts? Chris, yeah. his last yeah, name yeah. Butts, bro. Yeah. That's okay, I laughed yeah, the first I time I heard it. I know Liam. Bro, I didn't, I've never heard his last name until now. That sounds yeah, but yeah, we had him on. We had him on like a few uh, weeks ago. We asked him this. With this is the first time asking this question. The question is, what's your guilty pleasure? Which you know, you think of like a song, maybe, or you know, some stupid shit you do. This man, with full confidence and a straight face, said, "Whenever I'm done eating my food, I don't do it as much anymore." But I take my napkin, I bite a little piece out of it, eat it up, and swallow. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that was our your your reaction was ours, but we had to like keep the pod going somehow. So yeah, that, so I promise, like your your answer can't be. Like, don't think about it too much. Just know that the bar is really think high. About it like Liam did. Us- Liam thought about it too much and gave us the best scoop of all time. So yeah, bro, I don't, bro. Do you need examples? <laughs> You need examples. Yeah, I need some. Bro, he's like for me. Like for me, my guilty pleasure. We actually said it on a pod that we're about to put out tomorrow. So, so so I said, I'm a big Justin Bieber guy. I'm not gonna lie. Like even back in third grade when he was getting (laughs) slandered. Like looking back, his music was fine, man. Like, like he made bangers, you know. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, honestly, bro, I respect that, bro. It takes a like, lot of guts to say something like that. Like now, nowadays <laughs> it's not as nowadays you it's talking not about like, the hair, Justin Bieber, like old old Justin yeah. Bieber. Oh, back then I was slandering him, but right now I'm like looking back, like low key, I fucked with him, you know. Like I'd be like in school, I'd be like, oh, this guy sucks, and then I'd go home, you know, go to practice <laughs> in, in the car, baby, would be playing. I'd, I'd be like bob my head, sing along, you know, like. And then the second I see someone next to me, like a red line, I'm like, mom, turn that down right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chris, what was yours? Uh, my my guilty pleasure was like, sometimes I like listen to like a, like a Nicki Minaj or something before like anybody, some like a Nicki Minaj or like a, I don't know. I forgot who else I said, but I think I said like Nicki Minaj or Rihanna or something. Like I said, like I would listen to them sometimes before like a, I would choose like another artist I would always listen to. And that's what I said, so. Yeah, I did say anime, but y'all said like that's becoming like that's that's, that's not a guilty pleasure. It's like that. That's not guilty. That's not a guilty, guilty pleasure. I'm not, I'm, I don't yeah. think it's guilty, but I just I just thought y'all would think it is. But I love anime, so I don't like anime, but that's not a guilty pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm probably gonna be music too, bro. Using too? Real, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna be real with you, bro. That girl, uh, what's her name? That girl, that TikTok, what's her name? Olivia. That that girl who sang that them little songs, bro. Olivia, oh, Olivia Rodrigo, Rodrigo? Yeah. bro. She put her heart into that job, bro. I'm not even gonna cap, bro. Hey, bro, look, that's just fine, like, bro. That, that look, I was there, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, look, I wouldn't even listen to it like that, but like, but I heard it was like three songs on there, bro. Like, I don't know who hurt her. I don't know who hurt her, bro. But like, they need to apologize, like now, <laughs> bro. Bro, that girl, that bro, shit. that girl really put her heart into that, bro. Like no cap. All right. Like I got, I'm 100%. I'm 100 over my ex girlfriend and everything, and then that shit's like making me think, like, man, oh, am I? Like, damn. 
Bro, that's gonna make you think about your girlfriend for like fourth grade. Like, that's gonna <laughs> make you like romantic. Like, bro, it makes you like make yourself sad about something for no reason. You have no makes reason you think about sad. like the time, the time like you fumbled the bag back in high school or something like that. Yeah, you know? bro. I know. Like, I was thinking about like every past like time I tried to like, you know, get with someone. I'm just like, man, like, how did I fumble <laughs> that bag? Bro, what? There was two. What was the other one? Yeah, she's saying that thing, bro. Like, yeah. Like, I see why it was, like, like on the top of the charts for so long. Like, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like, it really does. Yeah. 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 You said you had two guilty pleasures. What was the other one? Uh, I said it would be music, too. But, uh, oh, I said, I got another one, though, off of real, because, because it just reminded me. Because it literally just reminded me. Because, like, now she from that, like, that high school musical thing, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, I still, like, love those movies. Like, High School Musical, bro. That's, like, one of my, like, bro, I can sing, like, every song off of High School Musical, no cap. No. Like, bro, like, no cap. Bro, cause Chris, Chris, Chris probably know, because, like, because you friends with Thomas, bro. Like, me and Thomas, we was young. We used to, like, uh, we used to do, like, this little daycare, and it wasn't a daycare, bro. It was, like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, we go to uh, my neighbor. Yeah, she had a Miss Luana, bro. She had, like, a little daycare, right? Like, we go to when we was young, like, like elementary school, real young, bro. But she, we weren't allowed to watch anything else except for High School Musical. Like that's all she had. Like VH, VHS tapes of High School Musical. That's it, bro. So like we watched those on like repeat, bro. And like they've just been like engraved in my head since then, bro. What's your like, favorite song like, High School? Bro. What's your favorite High School Musical song? Uh-huh. Oh, I'd go with Bet on it personally. You go what Bet on it? Yeah. Oh, well, I. I uh, I'll ride with bet on it. What's the I'm one? Like, what's the one in the? What's the one in the junkyard? That's probably gonna be the one for me. Ah, uh, crap! Which one was that? Boys of the Bat. Boys of the Bat. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. was good. That was yeah, good. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the one for me. Hey, bro. That's the one. Bet on it. I mean, wrong. I rock with Breaking Free, bro. But I feel like that's like the main song off of like High School Musical. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. I, honestly, bro, I was head in the game, of course. That's like the first ever one. Oh, yeah. Ever one. Oh, yeah. 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 They introduce you when they start gym with the balls, bro. Yeah. 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 Okay. That one. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, bro. I got That's respectable. That's respectable. Yeah. That's respectable, sure. bro. Respect it. Um, so we're, we're about out of time. Is there anything you want to say to what is, what's, the, what's Tennessee's fan base called? Ball Nation? Ball Nation, probably. Yeah, Ball Nation. Donation, Anything you want to say? Uh, I mean, man, y'all stay tuned, man. We got big things in store. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, don't think we've been out here and not working. You know what I'm saying? We've been putting in that work. We got some. We got some in store for y'all, man. Y'all just stay down. You know what I'm saying? Stay with us, rock with us. You know, we're gonna we're gonna have a little surprise for y'all this year. That's really it. All right. I know y'all got a running back. That one game I went to, that man set some crazy records the one time I went. Y'all, y'all's running oh, back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric. Was it? Eric, Eric, bro. Right? Good Oklahoma. Yeah. No, he went to like, Oklahoma, bro. He, he went to no. Oklahoma? Wait, what? Yeah. Why? Yeah, because we had some people transfer, bro, because we had a coach to change. I, I, yeah. That's right. Well, yeah. We, I got another one. we got another one, though. He was a freshman last year, Jabari. Okay. Dude is tough. We got a, but we got a couple. We got a couple running backs. Our running back court is deep. Well, we'll we'll be up to watch one game guaranteed. Yeah, guaranteed. we'll we'll come up. I'll be I'll probably be there for the Georgia game. I don't know. I can't speak for Chris. Um, bro, if you yeah, yeah, hit me. Up. I uh, yeah, I'll take you after this, bro. If you got me on social media, but like, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, we're, we're, yeah. we're most definitely. Right. Okay, yeah. I got you. Uh, but thank you for coming on, man. This means a lot to us, you know, especially because we're starting up still. Um, we wish you nothing but best this year, even if you go, even if you go off against my beloved dogs. I mean, <laughs> I can take sauce in it knowing that it's Warren Burrell. So, uh, thank you for coming on. Uh, box heads, give them a follow. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, appreciate Thanks for coming boys, on. Man. No problem. Yeah, man. All right, y'all boys.